Hey everybody, Coffee and Chaos here, and welcome to episode 22 and the first episode of our deep dive into doing single islands per... How can I say this? <laughs> we're we're going to be working on one island at a time on each episode, and today is going to be our deep dive into fixing uh, Corn Hub, as it were. Um, so, excuse me. We'll fight on if you are, need it. Are we really starting off with a battle? I guess I'm gonna have to go into real time right away. Uh, although I don't think he's gonna make it. Oh, um, speaking of, some we are somewhat lame. Some of this might have happened at the end of last episode already. I think we might have sunk him. We're not sunk uh, yet. At the end of last episode. I had to revert to an old save that was like two minutes older. For whatever reason, my uh, cloud save did not work. Um, so, what I plan on doing here in Cornhub, <clears throat> I really want to make sure that this island has at least uh, farmers and workers. Our goal is to satisfy... Um, is to create as many potatoes and as much wheat as possible. Um, so we're going to be doing a whole lot of bright harvest action. Um, we also want to kind of clean the island up, and I have a few ideas for things that I'd like to try um, in order to clean this up. I'm not very happy with the farm that I have here. The other thing I'd really like to do is uh, sheep farms, pig farms, we're in the presence and of virtuoso. maybe cattle farms, since we have wheat here. It wouldn't be that much of a stretch to do. But anyways, as we're doing this deep dive, be sure to go ahead and grab yourself a hot beverage and join me as we go on this little ride. So one of the things I would like to do first, I have been thinking about moving some of our fields over to this side. And I'd like to see if we were to do something like that. I'm going to grab a road here and get rid of this in order to see <clears throat> how close to the mountain can we get with this. That's not bad. So what if we come up and go over? This becomes our central road coming down this way. I'd like to have this be a double road. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and we are going to go ahead and add some extra crossroads here. Ship under attack. Uh, let's see. We're going to need to give all of these. Silos. Um, how far does that go? Actually, what we could do... Make these roads brick. Okay, you can now reach all the way down here, which is great. Um, I will go back to real check time. Copy? <clears throat> ah, check copy. Uh, let's continue with the propaganda for now. As we're doing these deep dives one island at a time, we are slowly going to work um, towards fixing all of our financial issues. Oh, we're out of bricks. Yikes. Okay, but I do like having these central roads here. And what Ship I'm going to do... Attack. Temporarily speaking, I'm going to put these... Oh, I guess I'll put them more like there. 
they're at least in range of the warehouse. And building off of this central road here, uh, I'm going to do something along the lines of... <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Oh, and we've got a minute and 30 until we can start rebuilding our cannons that we lost, so that'll be good. Um, how can I best place all of the pig farms... You know, I think what I might do is just go ahead and duplicate. But I will move these back a tile. Add roads. Actually, I can move them one more. I'd like to have a crossroad there. And do I want to wrap these completely? Yeah, I think I do. I feel like farms would have these working roads. And the dirt roads make sense for that. Uh, you can still reach, and then we're gonna go here, and we're gonna grab Where some are of these. My muses when I need them. Yeah, you couldn't defeat my island. Sorry, buddy. Go ahead and wrap and trees. Um, I'm gonna do something similar here. <clears throat> I could do those right there. <clears throat> that works. Man, our attractiveness is in the dumps. It's because of the vulgarity, which we've just added with pigs and ruins. Oh, Fresh right, right, right. Here. Get those back. Is there anything else here that's ruined that needs to be repaired? Uh, you. Alright, so now it's just the pig farms. Uh, I'm not going to play with the commuter pier just yet. I do feel like we'd benefit from having one or two grain farms on this side. <clears throat> so I think I will go ahead and add those. Well, actually, do I want to have any grain farms on this side? Uh, don't need either of those. I'm going to get rid of these extra woodcutters. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't seem to clear my throat. How much am I making? That's four tons... 4, 8, 12, 16, uh, 20, plus 25, We're making about 27 tons just with those. None of those had um, silos. We never did upgrade them. That's worthwhile. Uh, let's get the rest of the silos here. 
Um, yeah, this was an early concept for having kind of a farming village over there. I don't think I'm going to keep that. I think I'm going to move more towards having just a central um, city here. And I'll kind of clean up that concept. Um, the other thing is, do we have oil coming here yet? <clears throat> Let's actually look at trade routes to corn hub. Oh, we've lost a ship. The top banana... There, we've got a lot of ships there that have goods on them that can't be used. Stations. Let's see if we can't unload some New of these. <clears throat> Good news is we're full up on a lot of these goods. We assist however we may. Ready for assignment. You know, I might be better off just dumping. Wh who are you escorting? Coordinates plotted. You're, you're a schooner. You don't escort. Yeah, we'll Stations. just go ahead and dump all of the goods out of these. None of them are that high value that it's going to hurt me. Ready for assignment. And it's going to open up a lot of schooners for bulk transport. Schooner reporting. Slow boats. Um, now that we have all these schooners, these are going to be reserved for bulk cargo. Things like moving grain in bulk, moving potatoes in bulk, moving um, wool, pigs, uh, any kind of ores like copper and coal and iron. Uh, they're just super cheap, super useful for moving bulk cargoes like that that are not end goods. And we're going to reserve our clippers for moving uh, trade goods, our fish, our work clothes, stuff like that. Um, ooh, and we can't afford the influence cost of that. So for the time being, we're going to be a little tight on influence across all of our islands as we slowly work to optimize. But that's okay. We can work with that. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. I'm kind of looking here, making a game plan for how we're going to expand. I think first things first, I will go ahead and add a grain farm. I think I'll do the same thing here. Uh, that's going to be more than enough to supply these areas. You are going to expand your fields out to here. And I am going to delete six tiles, and we're going to add a tractor barn. Perfect. Oh, right. Um, I wanted to make sure I got distracted. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and replace you. Next, I do not have a fuel route here, so we need an oil route going from Long Rock over to Corn Hub. We're going to load oil, drop it there, and load back and drop there. And we'll add the adventure. It's currently in another I uh, another region. That's fine. Oil, and you're going to go Long Rock to Corn Hub. Alright, so that's first step. Second step. Minimum stock, 400. And I'm going to say the same thing for over here. As we go, we're going to keep adding more oil tankers with each episode. Um, and we're going to start electrifying and bright harvesting and adding fuel and all that kind of goodness. <clears throat> So, you, how far can we stretch electricity? All told, pretty far. Far enough that it would make a difference for what we want to do here. 
if we wanted to industrialize this sector right here, um, that's actually not bad. So, what I'd like to do... <clears throat> planning to have a power plant right here in the middle. Uh, let's go ahead and get our tracks. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get you up right away. Hmm. I'm going to put you there. I'm going to start grabbing one of these schnapps distilleries. connect to you. There it goes. I'm going to move most of this village around, so hang tight while we figure this out. Well, I do believe... Let's just move a couple of these things. <clears throat> We're going to figure out where we can put our rail. Now we have space for all of our knitters, or our framework knitters. Continue running the roads there. Put a road back behind and throw a road there. Uh, we could also put a few of you up this way. Go ahead and add our brick roads running around. Yeah, having all of these electrified will make a big difference. I will delete those extra roads there. Um, what else can we do on this side? I, I know I'd like to have... Well, if I had five of those, that would be first. ten tons per minute. Electrified, it would be 20 tons per minute, right? This is 8, that'll end up being 16. That's actually not bad throughput. Oh, wait, what did we do here? Did I somehow rename this? Okay, let's fix that right now, because I don't know how that happened. Must have accidentally clicked there while I was moving around. Uh, I'm really procrastinating because this is a lot to, of stuff to move. But I need to get it done. <clears throat> I could also very much use the commuter pier, but... What I might have to do is just pull the trigger, delete some buildings, and then rebuild in a minute. Yeah, that's going to be the way to go. Okay. Um, let's just... Oh, here, hang on. I might have a way to make this happen without having a catastrophic mess. Ooh. It's going to be a little bit like Tetris.
<clears throat> okay, that's one loop. Now, we're going to need road there. That's the other thing I should do, is if I'm going to run Central Road here, uh, that's actually going to be Ship under attack. the key determining factor. So, let's do this first. Run a road out to there. You two are getting moved back. You're getting moved up. And you're going to be moved over. More people are rioting. Uh, yeah, they'll have themselves a merry little riot. That's fine. Get rid of the brick road there. A ship was destroyed. Was it now? No. Ship under attack. Where are we under attack? Loading stations. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, um, I do need to take care of this right now. Alright, you four are on the case. You three can also converge on the same location because this is not okay. And everybody here is just waiting in line. This port clearly is going to need a few more piers. So let's just get that done now. Yeah. Lost a ship. We'll come back and fix that. Firing the engines. I do not like that the pepper pot's under attack. We're ship going to ignore that and continue our deep dive over here. Alright, so we know the that we have a road here. Destroyed. We know we have a road here, so... Now, do I want to have... Do I want to slide this is what I need to ask. And the answer is yes. <clears throat> okay, that works. Get rid of that. I do have a bit of an interesting conundrum with the way these all kind of fit together. A ship was destroyed. Ship under attack. Is he still working on vessels here? Yeah, he is. How far away are our. Attention for the Admiral! Our fleet's getting closer, but not quickly enough. He keeps sending battle cruisers right here. I think what I might need to do is set these on patrol here to defend. Is that the pepper pot again? Loading stations. That's the Lone Star. It goes to the other island. Ship under attack. Uh, I got to step away again. At some point, I really need to prosecute this war against Artur. Who I did decide in a recent episode, his name is now Arthur. <clears throat> How do I want to move these? You know what I might do? Let's just really piss off the entire island all at once.
uh, do I want to create some extra spaces in between? Actually, yes, I do. So I'm going to do this. We're going to move everything over two tiles. like to make a very compelling farming and fishing village here. Ooh, that's actually quite nice. We're going to make a little town square here. That is something I've actually been uh, doing a bit of a deep dive on. Um, I found myself looking up all kinds of pictures uh, while I was at work the other day. Looking at uh, town squares in different cities. You know, the old European town squares and seeing what the appearance was and how they were structured, and what old buildings were still there. Trying to draw some inspiration for my cities. Um, one of the big inspirations was actually uh, the Old Town Square in Prague. Which is actually still quite lovely. If you've never seen it, I highly suggest you uh, take a peek and see for yourself. Uh, I'm going to move this here. So what I'd like to do is I'd like for this to end up being our square. So we're going to have our market. We're going to have um, the rest of the town kind of surrounding it. Uh, picture that the open area is going to be something like this. You know, we're going to have a lot of opening in here. Um, buildings that we would like to have adjoining it will be church, school, uh, we're going to need to have our fire station. So let's just go ahead and add a duplicate fire station. We'll have a police station and we'll have a hospital. So basically everything that's going to help the surrounding town is going to be based off of this area. Um, I think what I'd like to do is have the hospital be somewhere in here. And we're going to wrap many of these buildings in sort of I guess you Ship could say under attack. back alley roads. Ooh, and the church can actually adjoin multiple locations if I cut the roads off there. Um, let's see. Uh, this might be a bit excessive. Are there any other buildings that I'm forgetting that I'd want to have in the central square? Um, oh, we would like to have a town hall as well. That's the other thing I'd like to add. So maybe we actually have some of these buildings on the interior of this square. We could actually shrink this up a little bit. Oh, look at that. It's actually quite doable. And we'll fill the interior of this area with some statues and uh, a few other things. That's not too bad. Ship under attack. If we don't look, the attack is not really happening. Is that true? No. Am I going with it? Yes. Uh, 
we can go ahead and add... Well, that works. Okay, so this area we could clean up a little bit. I like the idea of having, like, workers' houses down here by the docks. The workers' houses just give such a great appearance to the area. And we could add some worker workforce Thank here. You. you give us a voice. It would give us a reason to have a second uh, building down here. Or a second uh, ship. Uh, shipping, like, sausages, bread, and soap, and beer. And we can't forget the lifestyle needs. There's also lifestyle needs that we could bring in. And mail. Oh, I didn't even think about ship mail. Oh, man. Well, where am I going to put my post office? I'm not. I'm going to have to put post boxes. Oh, that's interesting. I think I would like to go ahead and move these over. is a magnet for genius. Alright. That's not too bad. Ship under attack. I guess the last thing that we can do here is brick some of these roads here in the middle. Who's under attack and where? We are somewhat lame. Um, that's actually very close. Ships don't really. We'll fight Ooh. on if you need it. Did he just add these? Mounted guns and a flak emplacement. Oh, that's not okay. We can almost touch each other. Wow. I wonder if there's a case where two islands can shoot at each other. We're not sunk yet. I honestly can't answer that. I'm not sure if there is or not. That's something to think about. We've gained a little influence from losing some ships, so that's a thing. Hmm. Uh, let's keep on adding brick roads here. best way I've found to do this is to just pick a straight line that you know you're going to develop and just go as far as you can with it. And we're going to need some more bricks. Shouldn't be too long before we get more. Um, so knowing that we got a town hall here... Oh! We actually built the town hall, but I think I built it for free. Um, do I want to also have an airship platform here? Could be kind of fun to have. It is the new DLC. And the new DLC is all the rage. 
let's just say we were to slot that in right here. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, let's go over to culture. So the next thing I'd like to do... Let's see. Outdoor arcade. Oh. An explosion um, in one of your factories. There it goes. I was gonna say, are these gonna? A fire broke out. So it's almost like a pathway, but not. I don't know if I like those. We've got stone flower pots. We got newsstands. Um, I do think I like the idea of having a newsstand out here. And. Let's see, we've got the City Lights pack. I feel like adding... Okay, the other thing I'd really like to do... Um, we're going to go with the default skin. Because otherwise it's open air market, we've got the ornate market, and a grand market. I don't think those fit. But the default skin right here in the center is going to make a lot more sense. Um... Just for the sake of seeing what a typical town square would look like, they almost always have this kind of tiling inside of them. Some form of paving or another. Your harbor is under attack. Uh, that's not too, too bad if we added brick roads all the way around. And what if we took all of these? Just out of curiosity. Ooh! Yeah, the brick farmer houses! And if we look at these and go for a brick skin on our worker houses... Oh, look at the uniformity that we get now. That's actually really worthwhile. I think I'd like to downgrade these to start. And let's upgrade here. Upgrade here. Just going to pick a few rows to work on in particular. The ones that are closest. Um... Oh, he's not going to last. Yep, later, Vernon. Screw who you. Oh, and here comes the Herald. Uh, yeah, he's not going to make it either. What in the world are they thinking? Your harbor is under attack. Yeah, get out of here. Okay. I think what I'd like to do is move... Let's see, let's move a couple of these over. Nice day for it. The fire has been vanquished. Go back to these, since a couple of them got downgraded. Add the skin. Uh... 15 out of 20. Are they actually losing their needs? Uh, I think they are, because I don't have flour, do I? I could add a flour mill and satisfy that need very quickly. Um, how much flour would they need here with that activated? We're it's in under the presence immediate... of a virtuoso. Oh, not even a ton? Really? So, let's say... Far is the power stretch here? Uh, kind of out this way. Playing with so many ideas at once, I have to left ruins slow behind. it down. Oh, we have our first load of oil. 
So we get that built, and now we can start moving uh, oil to where it needs to go. The next thing I can do is delete these and add some tiling to get our fuel. So if I were to place a fuel depot here, how far could it go? Uh, looks like it could damn near extend all the way out through the island. And honestly, if I added some brick roads, I might be able to go far enough that it'll be just fine. Uh, back to here. Yeah, that's all the way to the end. This might be the location right here, because it'll extend a little bit further towards the edge of the island. Yeah, that's better. Alright, I'm going to delete a few of these. Extending a road straight out. Getting rid of that. We're going to be doing lots and lots of little modifications like this on this island. All right, let's say I just know you'll give for a worthy cause. I could get rid of this, get rid of those and move these out and over. Same thing is going to go for this. All right, that's certainly an improvement. How are we looking? 1124. Yeah, we can add some more workers. That's fine. I like the idea of extending these double roads all the way down. I just think it looks a little bit cleaner. Let's go ahead and add our brick road. Yeah, power is going to go right here. Alright, so I'm going to add two more of these. They're electrified, and they're able to produce four tons per minute. Um, so I think I want an even five. And same thing goes for you guys. So that'll end no up space being here. four per minute. So it's going to be 20 tons and 20 tons. Get rid of that. Stores are inundated. Oh, good grief. And that's even speeding up our coal mine. Look busy, people. This island is going to generate so much coal. 20 tons per minute of coal. Okay. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about when we get to the Arctic. How do I want to clean this up for... Schnapps Distilleries. Mm. Well, for one thing, I could also start adding trade unions. I'm going to set this to blueprint mode. Let's just theoretically do something like this. Say we have those running in here. All right, and we could move you, say, there.
Uh, power stops right there. Everything moves down a tile. Whoops. Get rid of these. Oh, it doesn't quite... Oh, wait, hang on. If I add brick roads here... And here. And here. Damn, it almost gets to that corner, doesn't it? Oh, and I've also got some brick roads I can add to those two tiles. Oh, would you look at that? It barely makes it. <laughs> okay. Now I can go to culture. Let's add few of these. Your streets are safe again. Uh, let's see. People celebrate your leadership. I think I'd actually rather have dirt your roads. Is under attack. The main infrastructure can be brick roads, but these little feathers that we have coming off, we'll go ahead and do dirt roads. That doesn't look half bad. And then one day we'll build the trade union. That's actually really nice. Uh, looks like we got a town carnival going on. Bonus income from beer, schnapps, rum, and champagne. <clears throat> oh, better chance of specialist visiting. That's nice. Looks like they appreciate having some new residents on the island. I think I will go ahead and add a few more homes. Out of some simple necessity. And we'll continue adding homes. Uh, let's see. I'll need to leave some space somewhere to add the extra modules. Um, which, that reminds me, do we have... Did our airship come here with some goods? I could have sworn that there was an airship en route. Uh, maybe it's over here. Oh, right, I brought it over here. Um... So I need to come back to Laiachi, grab more of the... Gosh, I'm forgetting the names of them. Uh, the aluminum profiles. And I can take those to Cornhub. So that's the plan. Neutral buoyancy achieved. No bad place to see out the twilight years. Looks like our people are pretty happy here. Proper job. Go ahead and give them brick skin. Flat the flag of freedom. Give them brick skin as well. Gonna need to add some more homes. Uh, 
gonna do something like that. Hmm. I don't know how close I want to get here. The edges of the town, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting off, even though it's like a little bit on the uneven side. Go with the brick skin village over here. You know, if I were to actually provide them with their lifestyle needs, I wouldn't have to do any extra building here. I could actually legitimately double the population. So let's actually turn on... Oh, I can't actually turn on the mail yet. But uh, that's not going to be hard to do either. And same thing goes for the workers... I'm going to need a few more workers in order to satisfy their needs. Oh, I've actually got soap, sausages, and bread here already. Did I already have a trade route coming to this island with... Yes, I do. Oh, how convenient. Okay, so time to actually look at fuel. Um, I was threatening to do it over here, so I think I'll make that happen now. And there's that. Let's get rid of these. Build it now. Excuse me? There it goes. Alright, that should start moving fuel over to him. Or crude oil, I should say. Uh, what else can I do? I think I'll leave this as the only two industries that are going to be electrified. Um, everything else I can go ahead and do regular. Um, I would like to go ahead and create some sausage, some soap, some bread, and some beer so that this becomes a net positive island to haul back to uh, Long Rock. Knowing this... Where would I like to develop these industries? We lack uh, the requisite da, 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 da. materials. First things first, how far will that go? Pretty damn far. How many potatoes am I making versus how many am I short? I'm actually quite short on potatoes, so I need to up the ante with these. And I would like to shift the farms around. So I think I'm going to grab you. We put our love into it. Uh, I need to rotate those fields. Rotato potato. There we go. And I'm going to delete a few of you. And add your tractor barn. Let's move. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's about as far as I can go with that, isn't it? I think I will just max this out. Screw it. Why not? Add the 
Destructor Barn. There we go. Pretty soon here, they're going to start getting fuel and start going crazy. You can reach over there. Oh, he's starting to generate fuel now. Yep, first one's on the way. Excellent. Da, 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 da. Actually, I'll delete this row. Run a road right there. Ship under attack. Does feel good to start getting tractor barns going. Oops. I had originally planned to never move these fields, but all told, it's not too bad to do. And it does beautify the area. And the good news is, we'll never have to worry about potatoes again. So, what are we looking like? Six tons per minute? Wait, is that a fact? Oh! Okay, so I never realized that was a thing. So for every three tons of potatoes that we make, we're getting an extra ton. So we're adding 200%. So that's six tons, which is actually eight tons per minute. Eight, 16, wait, right? Yeah, eight, 16, 24, 32. <laughs> Yeah, so one island is absolutely going to generate all the potatoes we'll ever need. We're going to need to upgrade this warehouse. I don't care what you say. They're going to need it. Uh, let's try this. I'm going to try and squeeze a couple of these in. Put one there. Uh, how are we looking for potatoes? 36 tons? Great. Oh, I'm actually out of wood. Oh, right. I burned it all and I never uh, replaced it. Did I go through 405 tons of wood that quickly? Good grief. Uh, I didn't think I would do it that quickly. Do I have leftover wood in stock? I've got 500 wood in stock. So let's make this happen. Uh, add another one there. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need two more. Uh, the reason I'm saying I need two more is I'd like to have 10 potato farms and 10 wheat farms because 
a single fuel station can supply 20 uh, tractor barns. So I feel like 10 and 10 is a good round number here. So let me see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we'll do number 10 will be somewhere in here. Add that. I'll go ahead and add as many fields as I can. Uh, it looks like that's it. You. Move you over here. Throw a road down there. Your harbor is under attack. Uh, always with the harbor. Ceasefire has ended. Honestly, if I lost an island, I wouldn't be all that upset. Could always take it back. Fields can I add once I've brought that on? Your island is under attack. Not really enough. What does that put me at? 195? Eh, that's alright. There you go. That right there is all the potato farms we're ever going to need. Uh, Your harbor is happen. under attack. So that is 56 tons of potatoes? We're going to need a few more ships. We're gonna need quite a few more ships. The people celebrate your leadership. Your people can't hold out much longer. Oh no, you're kidding. I'm confident it's ready to go. No. Let a new wave of ideas begin. Ship under attack. <sighs> Stations. Ship under attack. Maybe losing your island will polish you off. Your island is under attack. Fleet awaiting orders. Oh. Didn't realize just how many clippers I had ready to go. Your harbor is under attack. <sighs> your people are rioting. All right, we're going to focus on one thing at a time really quick. First things first. We have a potato root. We're going to go ahead Shift and add... Attack. Damn, he is relentless. Where, where is this most recent one? Ready the ropes. Good grief, he's after Les Amis? Holy sh... Fleet, prepare 
to fire. All right, this nonsense stops now. There he goes with a monitor as well. We need to start taking out some of his vessels. But the other thing we really need to do is we really need better... Frigate first class. Uh, I guess you could say patrol routes. Your harbor is under attack. Gosh. Those me got pounded there. And this is actually a very important island because this Ship is one of the islands attack. I plan on developing next. Just say the word. The people celebrate your leadership. All right, we need to carry some guns. Ship under attack. Adjust the sail. Now that I have Cornhub very highly built up, I need to make sure that Cornhub can't be lost. And those for Lesami, I need to really secure this island. Um, locking down this strait is going to help. But it would also help to lock this area down. What island is this? This is Benty's. Ship under attack. Just out of curiosity. Ooh, I could basically lock that whole side down. Yeah, that'd be helpful. Stations. All that attack. Enemy target established. Uh, let's see. Are any of these ships nearby? He's just running right into all of our trading vessels. Alright, we need to take these and actually make them useful. So, first things first. I think having clippers to move potatoes is going to be a big bonus. We're going to get rid of you. We're going to add another clipper. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, same thing with grain. Let's start getting not the pharaoh. Uh, let's get the Nelly and the wild thing. Moving grain. I would like to move... Let's see. As far as these go, we're not going to unload any goods here. We're not going to load any goods here. We're now producing enough extra schnapps and work clothes. They can be loaded in Corn Hub and dropped off in Long Rock. So that route is now a net positive for all other islands. Um, in fact, we're generating a lot of schnapps. We're going to need multiple ships on our main route. And same thing goes for fish. So we've actually taken this. And you're purely loading extra goods to be used at Corn Hub or at any other islands that we trade off to. So let's make that a reality. Uh, we've got plenty of wood there. That's fine. We're just going to leave that just the way it is. And uh, where is that ship? Let's go ahead and add the Tethys. So now we have two vessels going opposite directions. That's perfect. Um, let's see. Similar thing here. I would like to generate all four resources here. Nice day for it. So let's look at bread. Just curious, how far is power going? Goes to right there. Well, I'm going to have enough flour here that that's going to be fine. Same thing goes for sausage. Where are my muses when I need them? Uh, 
Uh, we'll do that. So the rendering works and the soap factory are electrified. Doubles their production. That's going to be great. And what's that going to do for our consumer goods? Net positive, net positive, net positive. The only one I haven't done yet is beer. Um, beer would require me to haul hops here. Would that be worth it? I could consider it. Um, let's see. I know I'm going to be hauling away wheat. No, I'm not going to make beer here. That's fine. I'm not going to make beer. I can haul beer in. Instead, back here, we can plot to have more wood production. Got the sawmills, so I may as well just keep turning all of that excess wood into timber. Um, let's see, over here, I kind of want to get rid of this, but first things first, we're going to move our grain farms over to this direction. Uh, let's get rid of a few of these. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Got a little too aggressive. There we go. Am I actually short three tiles? Alright. That house has to go. I was going to have some farmer houses mixed in with the fields. So I kind of considered that as a thing, but I guess I'm just going to do it on this side and that's it. Yeah, that works. That's fine. So that's two of the ten grain fields that I'd really like to have. Alright, let's start placing these. if I could actually have these fields come all the way up here. Ooh, I can. And wrap a road around. This war is actually starting to stress me out. I'm getting a little tired of Artur and his nonsense. In fact, you know... Curious. Hey, Benti. Non-aggression pact? Oh, you like that. Oh, yes. Alliance? Would, would you have it? Ooh, you she will. Already? Uh, what about you? A fellow outcast, eh? I'll be the judge of that. What else? I know a Christian when I see one. Nah, he won't have it. Offer you some gifts. A good sport. I'm always. Who are you, my dear? Yeah, what about you? Absurd! I won't have it. Oh, he doesn't like flattery. I can offer him a gift of two hundred sixty thousand gold. Never look a gift, donkey. One more? Skin flint. Okay, I guess not. Uh, he doesn't want a non-aggression pact. Okay, so we're just at peace with the two of them. But now these two were actually allied with. So does that put him at war with anybody else? Uh, puts him at war with me, with Carl Leonard, and with Jean LaFortune. But it does not bring them into the war with me because I added them after the fact. Oh well. 
Uh, Bad Glanther. He has grown more beautiful. Bad Glanther is looking very bleh. I don't like the fact that I just kind of rinsed and repeated this whole process. I've uh, very much rethought the way in which I like to build islands. But not to worry, we can make that better. So let's move you. Get rid of this. Get rid of you three. I can afford to build these truly massive fields. Even though they're not strictly required, I just think they look nice. Ship constructed. Uh, let's get rid of a few of these. Let's get rid of a few of those. I think I'd like to move... Can I move you, like, somewhere in the middle here? That's kind of cool. Oh, I'm actually out of steam motors. At least on this island. Not necessarily everywhere. Where do we take the stuff without a warehouse? Oh, do I not have a warehouse nearby? Oh, I guess once I build this I'll have one Look and busy, people. it's it's coal. I have tons and tons of this stuff, so I don't need it right this second. Oh, that can't reach? Oh, well, let's go ahead and fix that. Why, why did I do that? I don't need a brick road there. I just need these farming roads off the back. Keep adding brick roads. That's not too bad. All right. Uh, how many does it put me at? Two here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to need one more. Fields can I add? Quite a few. I might delete some of these roads. I don't know. Can I run this? Oh, I can run it one tile further down. It's actually a slightly better option. Your people are rioting. Alright, looks like we got two farms. Two farms to go. I'll add 
add the last few fields there. I'm going to leave that road the way it is. Um, I will see if I can add any more tiles here. All right, those two. Now, you. It's actually not too shabby. And if I get rid of those six tiles, add a tractor barn. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that will literally use up all of the fuel that we are providing. So now we have fish, schnapps, work clothes. We'll have extra potatoes for other islands. We'll have extra wool for other islands, right? Actually, let me double check my wool production here. Oh yeah, we've got another seven tons that we can take with us. Um, pigs, we didn't build the silos, did we? No, we didn't. No, I built two out of the four. So in a moment, we'll see that go up. Uh, let's take a peek here. Oh, that single flower silo is actually making money for us. Not a lot, but it's You've making a little buried. bit off of all of our euphoric farmers. And giving us a little bit more population as well. A fire broke up. Uh, da, 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 da. I can't really satisfy anything else. Let's go back up here. Where's our airship? Altitude you. Stable. Go ahead and grab aluminum profiles, and I want you to move old world, go to corn hub. Uh, let's see. I think if we build the airship platform, we build a few of our post boxes. Here we go. I don't know if that's actually an ideal location or not. Oh, that's actually better. And I'd like to start running brick roads. Hey, there we go. All of our brick roads are done. And now we're going to go to culture and we're going to go ahead and add the temperate groves. The fire left ruins behind. In between a lot of these buildings. Since it actually fills quite a bit of the void and cleans things up, makes it look a lot nicer. Are there any other locations where we can add some trees? Um, you know what? Right down the middle here, I'm going to go ahead and start adding mature trees. There we go. I 
What else can I do? You know, over here I could probably do something to beautify the area. We're losing 32 points to vulgarity. I could do something over here to clean this area up. I don't necessarily need these farmers anymore. Uh, wow, this island is only losing 800 gold. I'm wondering if we could add a little bit of population density here. We can't shut the storm. Let's take a peek. So we've got plenty of fish, plenty of schnapps, plenty of work clothes, and we're making more than enough sausage, bread, and soap. So what I'm thinking is, let's upgrade these. Let's upgrade everything kind of around the town center. And we're going to come over here. Let's say we get rid of this. And maybe we Ship do keep attack. a secondary town over on this side. Who's under attack? Oh, gosh! Move! No! <laughs> Oh, the flat guns! No! <laughs> Our ship was destroyed. Oh, the humanity! Oh, no! I shouldn't have sent them directly to Cornhub. I should have sent them to Long Rock where they would have gone over all of this open expanse to the left. Oh, no. Oh, Utopia, you bastards. What did that little airship ever do to you? It was a civilian. Okay, so uh, where is our airship hangar? Let's go ahead and get a... Oh, what? Oh, Lord, we don't have enough sails. So, none of the others? That's the only one that needs sails? Really? Ship oh, because they, they use steam motors to uh, move them, because these must have wings on them. Well. Good and ready. That was quite disappointing. We'll delete that route because uh, there's no Yornaleros to move to San Martinello because this bastard took it from me. All of that hard work in San Martinello. <sighs> oh, that's the other thing. Uh, New World Regional Mail. Do you... Okay, good, good, good. I was worried that it was still trying to go over here. Um, is that a... No, it's a cargo ship. Okay, it's fine. You know, I might actually want to send uh, all of my military ships over to take it back. Although, oh, uh, recently captured. Is there a timer? You're so two-dimensional. Fleet on the move. Let's get our fleet over here. Uh, we need sails. Take the rudder. Getting very distracted from all of my goals because of my war. We might finally need to acknowledge this war and start making some moves against Artur. He's just becoming too much of a nuisance. Ooh, actually... I do that.
Uh, go back to culture. Let's add temperate groves in here. Get rid of these. Move you over, move you here. Uh, what's a good corner for this? I can make this work. Good that. Workforce shortage. Oh, I know, I know. There's a workforce shortage because I'm rebuilding the island. It's fine. up and over, run that up and over, that's just about it there, go ahead and add those homes. Now, let's see what we can do over here. Oh, maybe I just go with... Oh, that's not too bad. actually quite sharp. Get rid of some of those. I like having these central roads kind of running through. Left ruins behind. This is actually a phenomenal way to build this up. I'm kind of glad I'm keeping this secondary village over here. Plus, getting some more practice with building some uh, nice 
side villages, secondary villages, I guess you could say. Ship under it's attack. gonna help us in the future. I don't think I'm going to keep that one. And I think I'm probably going to get rid of you and you. And who's under attack and why and where? Ah, these are on patrol. You know, next episode I think what I might do is I might sense some, set up some sensible patrol routes. Might be about time for that. I uh, need to move you. You reward our Okay, so all of these I want them to have brick skin, right? I'm gonna go oops, wrong button. I like to go here. And we're gonna have mature trees Ship lining the streets here. Yeah, I'll just do this. A bit thankless farming here. All right, that's our trees. Let's get our temperate groves, and all of the background areas will fill in with those. Quite mean to add those over there. Actually, you know, it's not a bad thing. That's a spot that's worth it. Add some more trees there. There we go. Not bad. I would like to get brick roads through here. Okay, and run a loop through here. Okay, that's going to reach everything, and that's going to reach everything. Um, and that actually gives us enough surplus population that... Oh, wait, are these? Oh, those are all workers. I'll do. Ship under attack. Start with those. Uh, what would that end up being? We're still getting more work or more farmers, so that's actually okay. Gosh, I have enough workers here that I could upgrade to a few artisans in the areas surrounding the square. Do I want to do that? No, why the hell not? Let's go for it. And this island is now turning a profit. And a pretty hefty one at that. Uh, what would that end up being? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 13, 14. Uh, let's see, 14 times 20. Uh, that'd be 200. Yeah, we could actually upgrade all of these. We could upgrade most of the workers. Oh, I never did add... Well, actually, no, I did. Oh, uh, we don't quite have enough sausage now. So we're making more than enough soap. We could use a little bit more sausage and a little bit more bread. 
and that's really it. So let's go over here. Uh, bread. And sausage. And that's all she wrote. This island is profitable. And we've added several thousand to our workforce. I think if I were to add more of our uh, is a life half artisans around here, we could then make a commuter pier and have plenty of extra workforce to send elsewhere. So that's pretty freaking cool. And honestly, if we were to get um, mail started here, we might be able to keep upgrading the population even further and keep getting even more income. So I'm going to call that a win. This island is profitable and it is... everything up to artisans on this island so big big win for the episode so guys thanks so much for being here for this special episode where we rebuilt the island of corn hub um next island we're going to start working on is going to be les amis where we will turn this into an artisan town uh we will have lots of fur and lots of wood being gathered here on this side. We will have a few pepper farms here. And I believe that this is going to end up ex exporting um, fur coats, especially. And I'm not sure what else. I would like to have enough artisans here to make all of the fur coats that we're going to need and all of the furs we're going to need. So that's going to be the primary focus of the next episode. So thanks so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Your streets if you... are safe again. Excellent. Streets are safe again. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, make sure you go ahead and drop a sub. That is the best way you can support this channel. Or even if you are already a sub, you can like and comment on this video. That also is very helpful. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.